二百零一。《中国日报》香港版《The Stay》at year 二零一五年七月二十二日 ，page to p 零二 item from July 二十二一千九百九十一。In China Daily, goods trains started to run between China and the Soviet Union on Saturday. In a trial operation for the second duration Continental Railway Bridge, the railway will cut the travel time from the Western Pacific to Europe by 10 percent compared with the Trans-Siberian Railway line. Transportation costs will be cut by a third. In 2013, President Xi Jinping proposed the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road initiatives. Transport infrastructure projects linking Asia and Europe, with its focus on cooperation and connectivity among neighboring countries in Eurasia, the move has fueled growing rail links between China and Europe. Last week, a Seisubjet container cargo train completed its maiden trip from Hamburg, Germany, to Harbin, capital of northeast China's Heilongjiang province, a route from Shanghai. Capital of Central China's Jinan Province, to Hamburg now has two trains in each direction every week. The journey takes about two weeks, on a third of the time by sea. Cities such as Chongqing and Chengdu in the southwest, Wuhan and Changsha in central China, and Shenyang in the northeast also have rail freight services to Europe. Twenty-one trains are operating on the China-Europe line and subset on the China-Asia route. The cargo links stretch about Getman Samtin Km, passing through eight countries in Asia and Europe.